Every 10 years, the Pro Football Hall of Fame releases an all decades team. And today we're using NFL Films video list of the 2010s all decade NFL team to build our team in Madden. But more than anything, Play. We've got our first player, Calais Campbell, an all-decade defensive end. So we're starting off strong here with Calais Campbell, a 98 overall Redux card for 238,000 coins. That's a lot of coins to spend on one right end in Madden. So of course, our starting right end one is Calais Campbell. Let's see who's next. Cameron Jordan, of course, man. This is a ridiculous play. Gets the sack, recovers the fumble. It looks like Cam Jordan's best card, which is like a 95 overall team of the week card, is not up. So let's see if they give us another defensive end on the all-decade team. Of course, Julius Pepper but he doesn't have a card in Madden either, unfortunately. Geno Atkins. So we're moving to tackle. I'm sure we'll come back to end at some point. And Geno Atkins also does not have a card in Madden. Dominican Sue, of course, man. I'm actually going to put his card at defensive tackle too. Madden doesn't let us switch from a base 4-3 to a 3-4. So since he's listed as a defensive tackle in the NFL films, that's where we're going to put him on our team. And I know he's got a better card, but this is a card I already had. And I want to make sure we can build this entire team for the two-ish million coins that I have. Who's up next? Fletcher Cox. I have a feeling this is going to be our defensive tackle one. I'm pretty sure Fletcher Cox has a higher overall card than this, but it looks like the highest one that's up on the auction house. A 91 overall Redux card. So we'll end up scooping that for our defensive tackle one spot for about 12,000 coins. And our defensive tackle one will be 91 overall Fletcher Cox. Patrick Willis unfortunately does not have a card in Madden, so I know we'll skip over him. Bobby Wagner, our first linebacker. We're sticking with defense early. Now, of course, Bobby Wagner has a punter card because Madden Ultimate Team is really fun and mixes things up. We're going to end up adding his zero chill 95 overall middle linebacker card because, of course, that's what he plays in football. And for now, we're going to put Bobby Wagner at middle linebacker two because I have a feeling we're going to get a better middle linebacker one. Our first defensive back, we have Chris Harris Jr. I honestly don't even know if he has yes, a card sir. in Madden this year. He does! Okay, he's got a 95 overall cornerback card. He was such a stud, dude. Way before he played for the Chargers. I loved him on the Broncos. This is a very deserved all decade. And so he's going to be our cornerback number four for now, just to see who else we get. You mess with me, you got problems. We got J.J. Watts. You mess with me, you got problems. causing problems. Than JJ Watt. And JJ Watt has cards all over the spectrum here. He's of course got his left end card, but he's also got a tight end card. He's got a left outside linebacker card. We're going to add his best left end card because he was a defensive end pass rusher and that's 150,000 coins. It looks like we must be doing all defense first because we currently have only defense and zero offensive players. Aaron Donald Aaron was Donald. defensive player of the year twice during the decade. Two time defensive player of the year during the decade of course. He's listed as a defensive tackle in the video, but we already have two defensive defensive tackles so we're just gonna go ahead and stick with these guys for now Khalil Mack won the award in 2016 yes sir Khalil Mack one of my favorite bears an unbelievably talented Raider I wish him the best on the Chargers but I will happily add him to our all-decade team so his best cards a 98 overall limited from free agency but there's also uh the Redux which is the exact same card for a lot cheaper so we're gonna end up picking that up for 275,000 coins one of my favorite players and I'm gonna end up putting him at left outside linebacker who Keekly won it in 2013. See, I knew we were going to get a better linebacker than that Bobby Wagner. So it looks like Keekly's cards are outrageously expensive. 500,000 coins still for his team diamond card. So I'm going to end up buying up his power up and using some power up passes and getting him up as high as we can overall. And we can use a power pass, 93 to 94 overall power up pass, and we can get him all the way up to his 96 overall version. Unfortunately, just can't spend 500k on a card for this challenge. So we end up with a 96 overall Luke Keekly. That's going to be our middle linebacker number one. The emphasis on defense has been great but i'd still love to see some offensive players at this point von miller was a sack machine von miller was a sack machine that's what she said it helped make him the mvp of super bowl 50 very easy to forget that von miller was a super bowl mvp as a defensive player that is not an easy feat so i know von miller typically plays on the left side of the ball but we're going to put him actually as our right outside linebacker i want to keep khalil mack and we need another outside guy he's one of the best pass rushers that we've seen especially throughout this decade so very deservedly so to make this team we're gonna buy him for 110,000 coins and we're gonna put him on the right outside linebacker position a Cross from Khalil Mack. Getting the ball out is Chandler Jones. So of course Chandler Jones is on this list, but we've already got two outside linebackers. We're gonna stick with Von Miller and Khalil Mack and head to the next guy. Jones was teammates with defensive backs who knew a thing or two about takeaways. Revis Hello. Island, baby. Of course, Terrell Revis. Revis Island has a 99 overall Redux card. We're going to end up copping this for 300,000 coins. My man is so expensive, but I cannot think of a better cornerback one for our team than Revis Island himself. Byron Matthew. 
That is a great play by the Badger. The Honey Badger. Pretty sure he's got like a 95 overall. Yeah, 95 overall Super Bowl card. Wow, 100,000 coins. I think we could build him for cheaper, no? Looks like there's a little coin making opportunity here. If anyone's trying to sniff out an opportunity to make some coins real quick, you can build him for way cheaper than you can sell him. So adding these last two cards to the set is going to give us 95 overall Honey Badger hero Tyran Matthew from the Super Bowl promo. And I can't think of a better starting strong safety than the Honey Badger himself. And Patrick Peterson. Another Cardinal. Patrick Peterson. And his best card, of course, is a zero chill cornerback card. He really didn't get very many cards this year. But I guess he is getting a little older. We're going to buy that for 48,000 coins. And Pat Pete is going to be our cornerback number two. Number one in picking off passes was Richard Sherman. L-O-B, Richard Sherman. The best part of this interview watching this live was Aaron Andrews' face. Not even what Richard Sherman was saying, which was also funny. But just watch how terrified Aaron Andrews is. Electric. I think the best part about Richard Sherman was just how smart he was about the game. That's what everyone says really about him is that he's just one of the smartest players on the field. And that's why he's going to be our starting cornerback number three. All we have left on the defense is free safety, man. It's got to be coming up next, right? Yellow B or Legion of Boom was the nickname for Seattle's star secondary. Ah, uh, Earl, Earl Thomas. Unfortunately, Earl Thomas also does not have a card in Madden, so I can't add him to this team. Just be aggressive, dude. When in doubt, just hit it. Eric Weddle, an absolute monster. And so he's going to be definitely our starting free safety. Thankfully, he's got a 95 overall card in Madden, a Team Diamonds player. So we're going to go ahead and scoop him for 70K. And finally, we have our starting free safety with Eric Weddle. And Eric Berry were hard hitters. I loved watching Eric Berry play, dude. He hit hard and he moved fast. But again, unfortunately, he doesn't have a card in Madden. All decade punters and kickers were big hitters. Steven Guskowski does not have a card in Madden. They've got to have Justin Tucker, right? They have, there he is. Okay, Justin Tucker. A record-breaking game-winning kick with like 66 yards, I think it was. Luckily, everyone got a free golden ticket, Justin Tucker, just for logging in a Madden Ultimate team. So golden ticket, Justin Tucker, is going to be our starting kicker. Of course, Shane Leckler, but I don't think he has a card in Madden, so we're going to end up going with Johnny Hecker. Absolutely unbelievable punter. I wish they had Pat McAfee in this game, but I know he doesn't give the rights to EA. Thankfully, however, Johnny Hecker does have a card for 26,000, his Super Bowl card. We're going to end up copping that. And making him our starting punter. And Cordero Patterson. I have a Cordero Patterson card in my binder already, so he's going to end up being our kick returner one, this 90 overall Cordero card. Of course, he's got better cards, but it's just a kick returner position. Devin Hester made his second all-decade team. Oh, Devin Hester, the absolute Bears legend. So he'll be our backup kick returner. And Darren Sproles made two appearances on this all-decade team. Unfortunately, Darren Sproles does not have a card in Madden. We cannot add him. And we're Finally, moving on to offensive positions, Larry Fitzgerald to start. Now, unfortunately, Larry Fitzgerald's highest overall card is not on the block, so I say we move on since we only really need three receivers, and I think there are four total on this list. It wasn't longevity that made we knew this was coming. Johnson a legend. Calvin Johnson, my favorite receiver of all time, one of the best of all time. Seriously, his last Sugar Rush card just got bought right in front of me. Are you? Kidding? I guess we'll just get this 95 overall Calvin Johnson from the Bow Nose promo. We'll scoop him up for 110,000 coins. Calvin's gonna be our first offensive player and wide receiver one. There's a picture of Calvin Johnson being double covered by two cornerbacks that are literally on top of him at the line of scrimmage. That picture to me just speaks volumes about how good this guy was. His way of going up and getting it lives on in Julio Jones. Julio Jones. He was so, so good. Julio's best wide receiver card is this 97 overall combine, which is pretty interesting, for 133,000 coins. I hope he's healthy this year, man, because when he's on the field, he's such a stud to watch. So Julio's going to be our new wide receiver one over Calvin. And Calvin's going to wide receiver number two. To Antonio Brown, it's an identity. Yeah, Antonio Brown, the toe tap legend, but also it's sad how he's thrown away the potential for one of the best wide receiver careers of all time. But a list is a list. We're going to go ahead and add him to the team. No, I'm not paying 200,000 coins. Let's go ahead and pick up his power up, see how high we can power him. Up. Hopefully we can get him to a high overall, but I have no, no, I don't. Okay, well, we're just going to take him at a 92 overall then at our wide receiver number three. It's really not a bad third option. I'm pretty sure that's it for receivers. Let's see what else we've got on offense. I'm looking fresh, baby. Brock, one of my favorite players. Look at this catch, man. A tight end did that. I mean, just the the GOAT tight end of all time. I, I don't care what anyone says. So I will happily add Rob Gronkowski as our tight end number one. It's tempting to compare Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I saw goal. this one coming. We really only need this, one tight end though. So Kelsey as unbelievable as he is. I'm just going to keep Gronkowski because that was really the only one that I would throw to anyways. But I'm not surprised to see Kelsey on this list. Being the league's all decade offensive lineman. All right, let's go through all the offensive linemen one time. So we're going to use Alex Mack at our center. Jari Evans does not have a card in Madden. Mark 
Ortiz Pouncey, we've already got center taken care of. Logan Mankins does not have a card. Marshall Yanda does not have a card. They've really missed with legend offensive linemen this year. Zach Martin will be one of our guards. And also from the Cowboys, Tyron Smith will be one of our tackles. Jason Peters will be our other tackle. Joe Staley did not have a card in Madden. And Joe Thomas, we've already got our tackles taken care of. We just need another guard, our left guard. I'm looking for flags, but I don't see Joe one. Thomas is hilarious, dude. That's so funny. A lot of these cards either didn't exist on the market or were blown way out of proportion on their prices. So I did the best I could, and we added three tackles since we only got one guard. It's actually in Madden from the list. We've got Joe Thomas, Tyron Smith, Alex Mack, Zach Martin, and Jason Peters. But now I'm very interested to see who the running backs are going to be. Marshawn Lynch of course. Going and going during one of the most famous runs of the decade. Beast mode. The beast quake. On the beast quake. Skip Middles man himself, this run is unbelievable and it doesn't surprise me that he is the running back on this list. Now, of course, Marshawn's best card in this game is the 95 overall free version of it. So this is literally the best card we can get for him. And I'll happily take that. And Hasn't Frank stopped. Gore, who unfortunately After doesn't have a card in Madden either. The next one's gotta be Adrian Peterson, Nobody's right? No, LaShawn McCoy, who doesn't have a card in Madden either. That was Adrian Peterson. I believe Adrian Peterson still holds the record for most yards in a single game with like 296, I wanna say. That's a total crapshoot. Who spent the decade going around through and past defenders. Adrian Peterson's best card in this game is really a 95 overall. That's it. I guess, you know, it's kind of a ghost of Christmas pass card for 68K. Adrian Peterson's going to be our starting running back. And Marshawn Lynch is going to be our starting fullback. How you doing, man? No. Don't tell me they're about to pivot to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers did no. Good. How, dude? There's got to be two quarterbacks. There's no way they leave Tom Brady off this passes. list. Yada, yada. Most talented quarterback, et cetera, et cetera. Back-to-back -back MVPs. Well, guess what? How many Super Bowls you got, Aaron? Rodgers was one of two of the decade's quarterbacks to win two league MVP awards and be named a Super Bowl MVP. The other is the GOAT. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We all know who deserves the real all-quarterback of the decade. And to be honest, he could make the all-decade team... Let's see if he plays another seven years. But he's got a better card in Madden than Aaron Rodgers has, so I kind of just want to add Tom Brady. And also, I'm not an Aaron Rodgers fan, if you couldn't tell. So we're going to go ahead and add a golden ticket. 99 overall, Tom Brady to the team. Alas, we have the all-decade offense for the 2010s. The all-decade defense for the 2010s and the all decade special teams for the 2010s. But up here's a video where I built Tom Brady's dream team. And if you want to see gameplay with the team that we just built in this video, you can click down here.